Well, I've had a request by a rancher who wants to feed cows with a sled. So a bobsled, you can put a flatbed deck on and you can haul hay out and feed the cows with the team. So that's what we're going to do here in the next few videos. Well, this same style of bobsled undercarriage can be used also for a passenger body. And I have put what sometimes is called a wagonette body on one of these bobsleds. A wagonette being one that you enter from the rear and often has bench seats down each side and some of these carry 14 passengers. Well I did one back in the early 80s and some of these pictures aren't the best quality because I was still shooting with 35 millimeter. But I built a wagonette bobsled for a man that had a team of shires and I had the chance to go in and drive this sled for him. A number of years later, I had a request from a resort down in central Montana, and I built two of these wagonette style sleds for them also, for them to haul their guests. Well, oftentimes when I was breaking a team, I would take just the front half of a bobsled and drive it down the gravel road to kind of get them used to the noise and grinding because I was putting my teams on a mowing machine and mowing hay. Well, I had a chance to ride, or to actually to drive, I mean, with the Far and Away movie in the early 90s. And so this is a picture of my black and gray team as I was riding in that movie. Well, this is the style of bobsled that we're going to build. And this is going to be from scratch. So the next couple of videos are going to be the process of building these sleds. Well, over the years, I've rebuilt a number of old sleds, and I've also built quite a few from scratch. So I have a set of patterns that I have become accustomed to using, and that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use predominantly white ash, both in the runners, bunks, and bolsters for this whole bobsled undercarriage. I think it'll be pretty clear. To begin with, I'm just going to go through and make parts. And then when we have them all made, wood and metal both, we'll get into the assembly process.
Well, as you can tell by now, this is going to be a two-piece style runner. It's a very common style runner, and even though it looks like the tip might pull off, as we make progress, you'll see just where the strength comes from. There are a number of runners that are steam bent all one piece, and I do have a form that I can bend one piece runners. Perhaps in the future I'll be able to show that process too. But this style is a very common style runner, and this is what I'm going to use for this bobsled.
I have built other sleds in the past. When I get to making some particular irons, if I'm set up, I'll just make extra sets. This is one that I did make an extra set of these bridge irons, but I'm going to show you still just how they're made. Now I know a lot of blacksmiths don't like the ring of an anvil, but I in particular do like it, so I don't put magnets or chains, all that. I like the ring of a good anvil, and these hay buddens are good ones. Well, we got a good start, but we got a little ways to go yet. So we'll continue on next week. Once again, thanks for watching.